Hey y'all, Brock here. Just wanted to go through one of the pieces of technology that I use as a young construction superintendent. This app is called Raken. Raken is a daily reporting app um, that helps you go over manpower, materials, uh, certain quality control checklists, and you could do it for a majority of projects. And um, as you can see, these are some of the jobs that we've previously had or are currently going through right now. The jobs that I currently have is this 2560, 2550, 3960, the 2580, 2540, and 3930. That's what I'm currently uh, running right now. And then you can see some of the other jobs. So if someone else in my company wanted to see, hey, what's going on with Brock's jobs, uh, they can just easily click on one of my projects. So to kind of go through what Raken does. So let's go to my 3960 Flex workspace job. This is a second floor, um, gut and remodel. Literally everything within this, uh, within this floor is, has been taken out and we are demising the second floor space into four separate spaces with four separate break rooms, a new corridor that uh, connects the front stairs to the back stairs, new bathroom core, and we're adding in a drinking fountain. So here um, on the dashboard for this project, you can see a few tools. We have daily report, tasks, time cards, materials, equipment, checklists, toolbox talks, the directory, you know, anyone that's on the job, you can add your form in. Um, uh, people of contact like uh, a building engineer that you may have to work with and also building owners. Then you have your gallery and insights. Um, I'll just go through daily report, materials, checklists, and toolbox talks because that's the one that I use the most. And obviously I use gallery because it's a compendium of all the project photos that I've taken within my daily report. So if we go to daily report, this is what you see. Your work logs, notes, attachments, and survey. So let's go back to Friday. That was my uh, previous, well, that's the last uh, daily that I did. So as you can see, I had 19 people on site and I had one note that I did. So let's go to the work logs. So within the work log, you can see all uh, a list of all the different trades that I have had at some point point in time on my project but you can see that there are certain numbers that are attached to each trade so let's just open up creative ceiling drywall so with creative ceilings i had six people on, on site with uh being that uh this isn't a gmp project uh i don't have to really track hours now if there was a reason where i had to track hours then yeah i would put that in and then it would count that for each individual that was on site and then here um i can put in my description you know certain things that they've done uh yesterday they really focused just on the bathroom framing so i did bathroom framing and there's other notes and details that you can add into there but the but one thing that i really like is you can upload um and then take pictures from this app something that you see in procore um, but with Raken, I just feel like it's done, you know, very seamlessly and it's just very easy to use. And so you can see some of the pictures that I've taken, um, just, you know, just tracking everything that we do. And so that, that's something that's really awesome. So you can see all the different options, take photo, select photo, or select a file. Like if, if it's a, if it's a certain PDF or something that you received on a, of a certain picture. So that's for those guys. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, new age electric. Um, just all the break room row. So I just took pictures of all the different, uh, you know, all the rough in just to make sure, you know, if I look back, I like, Oh, where did they rough that in? You know, cause all the tile is on and whatever. And just kind of seeing how everything's ran. Like it's super easy to go back and see what has happened throughout the job. That's a bad picture. So that's pretty cool. So that's um, pretty, pretty straightforward as to, you know, how the, how the work logs work. And then when you're done, um, well, let, let's go to notes. So notes, it, this, this could be uh, anything random, like that maybe I personally did or just something that, you know, may not necessarily uh, pertain to a particular trade, but that, that's something that I want to keep separate. So usually I'll put my uh, inspections within the notes. So I'll like go to a note and then I'll put, you know, 
uh, electrical um, rough in inspection, and then I'll you know put a status or comments as to what happened during that inspection. So for this one, I removed some four inch conduit sleeves uh, that were coming out of the floor that needed to be removed. You can see those right there. So I was just you know letting the owner know hey that these got removed, and now all we have to do is go back to the main electrical room and pull all that optic wire out. All right, that's work logs. And then um, there's other attachments that you can add. Like maybe if, if you want to, you can add your um, your tags um, right here under attachments. Usually with tags, uh, I'll add that to the work log of the trade that pertains to that tag, and I'll keep it there. And then there's a survey. Every now and then I'll do the survey. It just depends on if it feels necessary, like any accidents on site. So the other day I had a sprinkler um branch line that uh that got bent and so it basically uh we had a, a a pretty decent um leak that came from that luckily it didn't affect anything on the first floor but that was something that i described here so i was able to say yes we had an accident on site and then i hit that little paper clip that you can see at the top right and i added pictures and then i put a description and then they have other cool things like any scheduled delays occurred, did weather cause any delays, any visitors on site. So if I have an owner or as for this space being that it's, we're demising the second floor into four separate spaces, um, the leasing director is always coming on site, bringing in potential tenants to see, you know, which one's the right fit for them. So I'll put that information in there as well. Any areas that can't be worked on, any equipment rented on site, we have a bunch of scissor lifts on site. So every now and then I'll put that in there like, hey, this is how many scissor lifts that we have on site and this is who they pertain to. Um, and what's also nice about this is the daily survey. You can manipulate what you want on the daily survey um, on the computer. So if there's other things that you want to survey every day, you can add that on there or you can take things from this as well. And then also you can change what's on your daily report. Um, so like if I don't want to have the daily survey on there, then I can take that off. So when you go to the view signed report, this is what gets generated after you go through these different line items. So it's currently loading right now. And then you can see signed by Brock Gardner on 3:31 at 2:05 PM. So, um, you know, you, you get your awesome header with, with the job number prepared by on the day and then you can add your logo job name it gives you weather and then all your work logs you know quantity of people if you did time cards and those time cards would be shown up on there and then at the bottom you can see all the photos that were taken and so you think well shoot i can't see that well when you're the uh this pdf gets distributed electronically so when you look at it electronically you can actually click on one of those pictures pull it up and actually see and zoom in obviously if you pdf it uh you won't be able to get that capability but if you keep it in the digital format that it that it is sent to you as a downloadable link then you are able to click on these uh pictures and see so that's that portion of the daily report something else that i like to use is the materials uh, log and so here like let's say i get a bunch of lights that come on site or i'll get um, um some exit signs or plumbing uh fixtures or whatever whatever it may be i'll, I'll just track it because you know because sometimes um um what is said in the contract of what you're supposed to have can be different what comes on site and so y you would like to have record of that and so you can select the material um, if you don't have material, so you can see I have lights L4s and I have it counted by each. And so um, that was from a previous job. And so that stays there as a, as a material that you can select. But you can add different materials in there. So you can come up with the name and then you can come up with the unit measurement. So let's say I like put in exit signs. And then I want to do it count as each. And you save that. And then you click exit signs and then you can say how many exit signs arrived on site there was 15 and if you have a certain cost code like let's say you procured them on your own then you could do that cost code if you're tracking it that way and you can come up with a description like let's say there was a damaged exit sign then you could say this exit sign was damaged blah 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 and then you could take a picture of it to show that hey we out of the 15 exit signs that we received 
one or two of them were damaged. And here are pictures showing of, you know, how it came damaged. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, another one that I use is Toolbox Talks. So um, depending on how you run your job and uh, how you um, handle, you know, the certain safety talks that go on, you can um, do a, a Toolbox Talk. And what's cool with Raken is they have a whole list of different to uh, Toolbox Talks that you can do. So as you can see here, there's, there's a whole list of all the different things that you can talk about. So let's just go to Extension Cord Safety. Boom, there's your toolbox talk. You can go through that. You can obviously add different, um, you know, you, you, you can add your twist to this toolbox talk. And then with this, you can add attendees. So you can either um, uh, uh, pass your clipboard around and then have everyone sign it and then you can take a picture of it. Or you can do it digitally, add all the names of the people that were there um, and then click those names. So let's say Brock Gardner and Ben Skoog were there. Then you pass your device around, whether it be your phone or your iPad, and then people can add their signatures. So that's pretty neat. Uh, last thing, uh, so, oh, checklists. Um, directory is pretty straightforward. Like here are, you know, different people from Acor. If you want to add different people to the project directory, you can. Um, gallery, so you can see this is just the... Um, Oh, the gallery of all the pictures that you've taken on your job. And then the last one I use is checklists. So we have our own ACOR checklists. And the way that you add those is by getting on your computer and creating your own checklist. And from there, um, just let's, let's go to mobilization. So there's a bunch of different questions that you could send in. So we currently don't have the permit. Uh, and we don't, uh, so therefore we don't have stamped, uh, stamped drawings. And so I currently have this set as no, but there's other different things that, you know, we have. So prime contract execute and save. We've done that. So yes. Um, a core insurance on file copy to owner. Yes, we did that. Subcontracts executed prior to mobilization. Yes. So there's, you know, questions like that. And it's just a good checklist to go through of, you know, what has or hasn't been done on the job project schedule and then there's other things that you know may require more of a description so you can see like for site logistics and we have our different um you know items that, that we go over so this is a really great way of you know figuring out ways to track and you know manage quality on your job through these check through these checklists so let's say you know like for example you saw that i had a no there and a no here but, you know, I obviously I want to keep this open and, you know, I have certain signatures. We finish our plumbing safe off on, on that day. So you hit save and instead of hitting sign and complete, just click save as a draft. And so then you can go back into that checklist and uh, on the nat on that next day and say, oh, we completed this. And then once it's finally completed, then you can do sign and complete. So. This is how I use Raken. I really enjoy it. It's a uh, it's it's super intuitive. Um, you can create different projects um, su super easily. And also, let, let's say you're on a super big project and you have you know let's just say you have five superintendents and they're all in charge of either different scopes or they're in charge of different sections of the building. Within this job, if you wanted to, so okay, well. For first off, if you don't want to have to wait on that superintendent to finish his daily so that you can close out a daily, what you can do is just add a different job. So you can have, let's say, you know, 2580, 3960 Redwoods in your apartment and 2550. Those can all be different areas of that job that that superintendent um, takes care of and manages. And then you could just have that all sent to the same to you know the same distribution list, whether it be your senior superintendent, project managers, uh, building owner, client, or whatever it may be. So if that, I find that a really awesome and efficient way to be able to track your dailies and you know to record things that happen on your job. And then again, if you just want to keep it underneath one job name, you can just go to your daily report and you can just create different daily logs. So let's say there are three of uh, five superintendents and three superintendents deal with the same sub. So let's say there's three different superintendents that deal with creative ceilings 
Well, you can have a creative ceilings one, creative ceilings two, creative ceilings three, pertaining to those different superintendents. And that way, each superintendent can track that same trade, but within a different area and have different notes and pictures and whatnot. And then at the end of the day, you just have to be able to uh, coordinate well with the other superintendents to know, all right, has everyone finished? All right, sign and complete and boom, you're done. So I hope this was super beneficial. Let me know if there's any questions that y'all may have or uh, about Raken or if there's any other things that you would like to learn about it. Um, I, I imagine there's stuff on YouTube already that goes over Raken and, and on how to use it. Um, I really enjoy using it. Um, like I said, most of my job can be done from my phone. And this is one of those tools that helps me to, to do that and keep me, uh, you know, rolling and going and not having to, you know, be confined to an office to, you know, do certain to do certain tasks. So hope this was beneficial and I hope you all have a good one.